Shalom Wall, Waki Yom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach, and Dash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, a great millstone of goodwill. And much peace, safety, and blessing for the open elect, by the four wings, pushing his truth and sincerity and, uh, and diligence. And, uh, as a brother of from the great millstone, Lake Charles, Louisiana camp, just coming with a quick and transit video. The spirit helped the woman to really, uh, you know, touch upon this. And uh, just going into actually understanding, uh, actually understanding how you understanding that you how about you how shot controls everything, all right? Because a lot of people might say, yeah, they they know that the Lord controls everything, but it's a major difference when you actually understand it, all right? One of the main things is with death, all right? Because we're gonna uh, soon uh, be approaching a uh, mass amount of death, all right? Throughout the four winds, well, what brothers are scattered in, all right? It may be uh, some close family members, uh, friends, but, but ultimately understand that what is is the Lord controlling it, all right? While us here, uh, us men that, that has this, uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shah upon us, all right, start with El Tahon down, uh, you know, we actually understand it. You know, when, when someone dies in the family, it, it's what? It, it was their judgment, all right? They they, they had fought with Yahweh Shema Shah, you know, whether it was what? Going into their past life, or what, man? Just, just basically, what? Uh, covered up in sin, you know? Not uh, taking heed to to uh, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, and a lot of people are gonna be put to death for not taking heed. All right, that's that's one of the main things that's gonna be brought forth uh, as we uh, continue in this walk. You see? So yeah, man. Uh, because we just recently had an incident to where uh, one of these guys that we work with um, actually passed away. You know. Which it was judgment of y'all by Shemel all Shai, all right? One of the uh, brothers in our camp here warned him, you know, and he didn't take heed, you know? So ultimately, y'all by Shemel all Shai said, you know what? Hey, he didn't want to uh, park and, and, and take heed to, to me. So guess what? It's going to be blood required, you know? While yet, the difference is when whenever the prophets that uh, y'all by Shemel all Shai set up, you know, Whenever uh, those men are taken out, it's because what? It's the Lord's mercy, you know? Maybe the Lord uh, stopped them uh, from, you know, going through the things to come. You know, but what ultimately, no matter what goes on, the scriptures tell you that Yahweh Shemel Shai controls it. Controls them. And ultimately, it uh, tells you uh, in the book of Psalms that what? No matter whether it's good or bad, uh, you know, no matter whether it's good or bad, you know, I remember uh, King David was saying, the works of Yahweh Shemel Shai are, 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 are righteous, you see? No matter whether uh, uh, if something good happens or no matter if something bad happens, you know, there's still works of Yahweh by Shemel Shai and that's what controls everything. So uh, yeah, man, I just really wanted to touch up on that. You know, it's a difference between actually knowing that Yahweh by Shemel Shai uh, controls everything and understanding. You see, Lord can send uh, spirits your way, you know. That can be uh, spirits uh, basically put it in, in, in front of you to try you with, with something, you know, whether it be at work, you know, or dealing with your woman, the Lord ultimately just wants to see how you're going to react in this situation, you know, the scriptures tell you, you know, uh, the uh, first book of Philippians, that what, um, a lot of people want basically to use this truth for, uh, for envy and strife, you know, and the Lord will actually what, put that situation before you to, to get that uh, purification out of you, you know, See how you're gonna react. How you, if you're gonna react and, and use the truth in, in a niggardly uh, manner, so to say, you know, are you gonna conduct yourself like a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua and say, you know what? Hey, I know that say, you know, not only know it but actually understand it because that's when it makes a difference when you actually understand it. All right, because in the times you're gonna get what uh, the times that we're in, you're gonna get uh, a variety of distractions to come your way. All right, but what if you're not uh, synchronized in that spirit? You're not going to be able to receive these things, you know, and what you're going to be out of conduct. All right. And that's one thing that your Abba Shema Shai is, is not looking for. You know, the Lord wants to see how you're going to react in certain situations. All right. Uh, so with that, man, Lord willing, this, uh, you know, quick in transit was uh, edifying. I know it was short and brief, but I uh, just want to get straight to the point. And uh, man, Lord willing, when I get off, you know what I'm saying, I'll uh, gather a couple of scriptures and go further more into it like I really want to, but it's just the spirit was on me to, you know, get into this in transit. So uh, Lord willing, this is edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and will, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing his truth and sincerity and diligence. Shalom.